All right, so the summary vet is finally here inside of Anime Fighters, and I have been having a lot of fun with it. This is a very good event. Now, literally every single player can go into this event. So if you're level one or you're maxed out like me, you can play this event. So that is very exciting. I will say, though, that if you are new to the game, you're going to want to play this event because it makes it... So incredibly easy to level up. Like you get a really good head start if you're brand new to the game or just barely working your way through. It's just so much better if you're playing here. Now I've already kind of done all the grinding. I have the mount. I have a bunch. I have a bunch of the units, which I'll show off in a moment. And I've basically done everything in the event so far. And I just kind of want to show everything off. This is actually really cool. So something interesting here is you can't use your units. You can't like, see, it doesn't let me equip my good fighters. You can only use units from this area. Now, I have already set up my team. As you can see, I have a pretty good setup right now. This is basically the best you can get, like level 180, like 185 is like the best you can get for units here. But like, look at these, look at the brand new secret stats. Only uh, only 500 billion, but like that's insane for this area. Like over here is the final boss you can do for the area. So like with this full team right here, just doing this much damage, here's the final boss. It goes through pretty quickly. So level 1A is a pretty good level to actually fight the bosses to grind up money. But we do have a brand new currency. Oh yeah, I should also let you know that you can't actually use any of these units in the incubator, so you can't like level up to level 300, sadly. But like after the event's gone, you will be able to. So like the main goal of this event is to get the brand new units, which is like all the brand new secrets, the brand new divine, which I have not gotten yet. I have done quite a bit of opening so far. As you can see, 7.99 million stars so far in this world. No divine yet though, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, I'll eventually get one. This event's gonna be here for about like two weeks, I think. So yeah, I have enough time to do it. But yeah, basically right now, the goal is to try to get as many secrets and hopefully as many divines as you can get before the event's over. And also to get some of the brand new passives because there's some brand new passives and some of these are pretty insane. So we have like the like basic ones like summer strong rich genius tactical which are all pretty good like summer strong is 35 percent more damage we have like rich which is 0.25 x yen summer fighter which does something and there's a whole bunch of other cool stuff i do know I, let me see if i have one here we go the summer tactical is good 65 percent more damage to bosses that isn't bad it's not better than tactical three but it's still pretty good of course, like some of them are pretty bad, like the summer leader. Oh, it's so bad. It's worse than normal leader one. But look at these. That isn't the main part. Look at these. So we have um, relax, which I'm not quite sure what it does, but it is a mythical passive, which is pretty good. We have flaming, which is really, really good. This is times two damage. Plus it makes the unit bigger. Like here is a flaming unit right next to a normal version of it. There's the flaming, there's the normal. As you can see, they're a little bit bigger. But the main one I'm excited about, let me see if I set down here. General gives 30% more team damage. Okay, yeah, that's pretty insane. Leader 3 is 25%. This is 30. What I'm going to try to do, as you can see, I'm already making one limitless right now. It's going to be done like tomorrow-ish because of the times five event for time. And I'm going to try to get a double general three for an extra 60% damage on my team. Oh, yeah, also look at this. I have a uh, secret also limit listing also that has flame me. I managed to roll flame me in a couple rolls on a big man, which is really fun. I like the big man so much. Look at these. Look at them. They're so big. Oh my gosh. They're so large. Here's the non shoddy version to it. It's a pretty cool secret. It matches the strength of... The of the soul academy one so here is the summer one and here is the soul academy now i do have a feeling just like the darab because the darab uh, when it went away it got stronger i'm pretty sure this one and also the divine might become even stronger after the update's gone i have a feeling that's what they're gonna do because i remember that the darab got stronger than the sensitive slayer after they removed it because they were the exact same stat during the update but now the darab is stronger which is pretty cool 
but I have been doing so much grinding this update. I'm still gonna do a whole bunch more. I'm gonna try to get as many opens as possible, get as many divines, because I wanna make the new divine into a limitless. That is the, my ultimate goal. Oh yeah, also look at this. I ended up making, um, I ended up making the craft unit eventually. I, as you, I have a ton of the sand shards, but I, I ended up making the craft unit. It's not that bad. Here is the shiny version of it. It's pretty cool. It has a water gun too. And I'm guessing to show it off, here is the ultimate attack it has. Look at that. Pretty cool. Here's Big Man's ult, and this ability is actually really cool. Look at this. It summons two giant waves and hits the enemy. That's actually a really cool one. I like the really big flashy ones. I wish they do that more often for the secret. Oh, yeah, also, just because I don't think I showed it, here is the new mount, and it is a surfboard. It is pretty cool. But look at this thing right here. I'm not going to use it because I'm pretty sure it's broken right now. But we have a dupe machine. This is a limited time machine. And basically how it works is you put in or you like basically bet items. So let's let's do like uh, just to see if it works. Let's do like 50 gut shards. Why not? I don't need these anymore. You go ahead and put these in. You press start free. And then what you got to do is you click on these question marks to hopefully get more items. So let's see. Opening. And okay, we got 22. So let's go ahead and let's do another one. 19. So we get nine. So we get nine more. We get our items back. Let's see. 15. So now we have a profit of six. And I basically do that until I get a bomb. If, if I get a bomb, I get nothing. Let's do let's do one more. 13. You know, let's risk it. One more again. Ah, there's the bomb. Okay. So if you hit the bomb, you get none of the items. As you can see, I lost all my gut shards. Or whatever items you bet. So you can bet like shiny potions. You can bet these passive rerolls, I think. Yeah, yeah, you can bet these. You can basically bet, you can basically bet any item in the game. I'm not going to use this because I don't really need to. I'm not, there's nothing I need more of right now, really, except for like green fragments. But like yet again, I don't want to risk these because they're so hard to get. But this is a cool machine. I'm so glad it's not units. When I, someone told me this was getting added, I was getting so scared. It would be like the old dupe unit. That would be horrible. I'll just dupe this unit constantly. But this update is pretty cool. If you're a new player, I highly recommend playing this. This will make it so much easier for you to get to end game. And if you're already end game, I still recommend playing it because some of these units are really good. It's the best divide in the game and also ties for best secret. And trying to get some of the passives is I highly recommend doing that because these passives are really strong. You can get, just so you know, because I know a lot of people don't know this, you can get these um, right here. You can get the sand shards from doing um, either from fighting the boss over there, the occasional raid. I've only ever seen one, though, when I was in game. It was a massive game, like 140 with a drops event. And you can also get it from the challenge hub from doing a summer island dungeon over here. Right here, as you can see. Now, there's two more things I want to show off. The first thing is, look at this. I illusioned a, one of the new units with double giant. And look at this. Oh my gosh, it is so big. Why is it so big? It is massive. So that is the double giant of the new secret. Now, if you can manage to get like double flaming, like which I really want to do with this one down here. Oh my gosh, it is going to be so big. I'm pretty sure flaming is bigger than giant, even by a little bit. But also look at this, my new team. I've updated it and look at the damage on my new team. This is insane. So here's all the units. I managed to get another double leader three. So now I have an extra 100% team damage on these. And also, all these units are doing pretty well. I've been incubating these four, and they're almost maxed out. They're getting close. But look at my damage so far. 1.8 Z. We're so close to do Z. We are doing so well. 